in this in the kitchen video you're going to need some chocolate chips some instant chocolate pudding two cups of milk for that which I've not measured out yet but two cups of milk you're going to need some kind of chocolate cake and can be whatever chocolate cake you choose mine is Betty Crocker and it's devil's food but you can choose a regular chocolate cake whatever I just like I prefer devil's food three eggs for that one and one fourth cup of water and a half of a cup of oil you also need two mixing bowls two spoons and also ladies for this particular recipe you're going to need your crock pot so go ahead and break that start out. by mixing our cake mix like always and I also want to point out whatever cake mix that you get your ingredients might change so you might not want to follow the ingredients that I have here for the devil's food just a little reminder you guys so we're gonna mix all of our ingredients together Set your cake mix aside and I also do want to point out that you can use a hand mixer to mix your cake mix your pudding all that stuff I do own a hand mixer I never use it in videos just purely because the loud noise of it scares Connor so I'm not going to put him through any torture while I'm filming or you know cooking next up we have our pudding mix and I'm just going to be adding the milk and speeding this up as I mix it Let your pudding set up for about a couple minutes in the refrigerator. Sprayed my crock pot with non-stick spray. So next we're going to start laying, layering our ingredients. And the cake mix goes first. Next you're going to add your pudding layer on top of your cake mix. To add your pudding on top. Now you want to sprinkle some chocolate chips on top. I used about a half of a bag layering those on top. Probably all you're going to need this is chocolate overkill. But if you're a chocolate lover like me, you're really excited to try it. Turn your crock pot on to high. Let this cook two and a half hours in your crock pot. I would check it often, especially around the two hour mark. Um, some people said that theirs at two and a half hours came out burnt. This is my first time trying this recipe. You guys be your own judge and poke through your cake to see if it's done and stuff so you don't scorch it. So I'm going to let this lay for, I'm probably going to check it in an hour and 45 minutes, close to the two hour mark. Then if it's not done, 15 minutes later, I'm going to check it again and then check it again at the two and a half hour mark. Okay, it did take my crock pot cake the full two and a half hours. I have a Hamilton Beach and it's a two quart crock pot. I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but two and a half hours. I will say that um, it is very nice and cakey. It's done. 
and I have tasted it off of the knife and it tastes delicious already so we're gonna get us a bowl of this serve it with some ice cream which is completely optional it's nice and just looks delicious it's really warm right now which is awesome and the pudding completely sank to the bottom you know all the cake and I'm gonna add a couple of chips just for garnish and Serve that with a scoop of ice cream. Oh, how delicious does that look, you guys? Mm, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Found the video helpful. Most definitely try it out for yourselves. And let me know if you do. Thank you for watching.